so live letter hype patch hype uh patch hype hype so the, the patch is coming out february 18th and yesterday if you were watching the stream you saw me restream the live letter i've seen the patch trailer a couple of times and my impression was that it, it was very busy and like there was just a lot going on that i didn't follow but it was still very exciting it's like when you bring a baby to a birthday party and they're happy but they have no idea what's going on that's kind of how i felt watching the patch trailer I think I might watch it again and see if maybe I have, uh, with the with the cool light of morning and the freshness of a new day, have some more insight on this. I will put a link to this in the description box. Peggy 16. did the ancients preserve concepts i'm pausing this because i'm pausing this right here because this is the thing i'm probably most excited about more than anything is this new dungeon and in the live letter they only showed us one screenshot of this so i'm like trying to get a real good look at it ideal forms to be drawn upon in the act of creation <laughs> the gatherer with a bazooka Oh yeah, those heels, girl. Oh yeah. Tumble to the mouth. Lightning shall strike. Thunder. As the Exarch's research suggests. Yeah, I won't do that. <laughs> soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond. Might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep Lightning imprint on the soul that it could be perceived even uh, later? Battle. The light! It's too much for her to bear! In which case, none of this is mere coincidence. Who is the mosaic of is it Highland? <laughs> Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. Sit! Sit, baby, no! No! <gasps> I heard the crystals like crackling. He was hurting. You Heidelin. Bennett Selk, how very unlike you to act oh! so bravely. Okay, I'm hyped. I'm hyped again. Ah! What? Okay, so that was extremely exciting to watch. Uh, I do feel like today watching it again, I, I absorbed more and I understood better what I was seeing. It was just kind of an overload. It's one of these things where it's almost like a book that you have to reread or a movie you have to rewatch to catch everything in it. This is Ruby Weapon from Final Fantasy VII. He has these teeth. They're human, human-like teeth. I'm imagining him waking up in the morning and brushing his teeth, his electric toothbrush and getting in there because they look to me in great condition. He's flossing and stuff. Actually, it'd be kind of hard to hold the floss with his hands because he has these big claw metal claws. So I imagine that would be um, a problem. But I saw that PlayStation official account tweeted. Enjoy that. That's great. <laughs> They're evolving. The companies are evolving. The memes must evolve too if we're to survive. The Anamnesis and Nider dungeon 
I feel like they've shown us not a lot of it because here we see this boss, which was outside in some kind of a courtyard. In the live letter, they showed us one screenshot from this dungeon and it was like kind of a blurry screenshot just from the entrance. So we have the uh, Kikirin Beast Tribe, which is a gathering beast tribe, but I'm really, uh, I'm really interested in it because at the live letter, they said that there is a lore reason why we haven't seen them yet in Rock Teeth or Greatwood. Also in the live letter, um, they played the music the beast tribe music it's a katana ravel i'll put a link to the full live letter in the description box if you want to hear more of that <laughs> yeah yeah, it's the Great Serpent of Ronka mount, and it's absolutely fantastic. They haven't shown it uh, moving yet, but when it moves, it makes little screen noises. Come on. Move around on it. It's <laughs> 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 It's absolutely amazing. That's definitely one of the highlights of the live letter for me. We don't actually know if the Great Serpent of Ronka is a reward from this beast tribe, but I feel like probably because uh, in the trailer we see when we when we see the Kikirin, they're right here next to this giant glowy tree, which was related to the Serpent of Ronka. So I, I feel like that makes the most sense. They talked about crafting and gathering a lot. They talked about fishing a lot. This looks like Northern Lights. I didn't see this the first time. They said sometimes the water will change color if one person on the boat meets certain requirements and then you'll be able to catch like a really big special fish. You see here, there's a guy with a bazooka. This is a gatherer shooting some destroying something in diadem in diadem they are changing it so it's a gathering wonderland which is what yoshida called it so basically you will get a limit break bar while you're gathering in diadem and you can use one of the bars to one shot a monster and it does just stupid damage it does like ridiculously high damage and uh, the monsters don't attack you so they're basically just like loot pinatas for gatherers but we were joking about how now gatherers are the best dps job they don't have any excuses anymore. I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe part of the dungeon still, though it's giving me <laughs> Eureka flashbacks. I, I do not want to look at it for too long. We got to see the peaks into Eden and I'm really, really excited about that. A lot of people were initially disappointed by the size of Ramu's beard because it's not, it's like a normal size. But his, it seems that his beard volume has moved to his tail. He actually has a, a giant fluffy tail so i think that compensates for it we also have sexy version of ifrit now <laughs> ifrit's now sexy and garuda is just as sexy as she always was oh but what about her butt because she used to have one of the best butts oh I don't, I don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it i think she does a spin here let me try to nah they're not gonna let me see the that would be showing too much. <laughs> that would be too much. Y'all, this Ramu remix is so good. It is so, so good. I just want to listen to it over and over, honestly. From like a, a framing cinematography perspective, this is a gorgeous shot. This is really beautiful. Also, what is happening here? Like... Actually, it looks like a um, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope type of uh, projection. Oh my gosh, what if they... I'm not prepared for, for whatever they have to say. I'm not, I am not ready. Sid is fighting now. What the hell is going on here? There's Garlean stuff. No idea. Look, I'm not good at lore, okay? <laughs> so like, I'm, I'm probably not the person to ask about smart theories on and speculation xenos what are you doing <laughs> why are you here why won't you wear your jacket normally 
I have so many questions. But most of all, I want to know, were they able to do something with you as a character? I cannot wait to find out why you're here and what you're doing, what your motivations are, because... Um, well, let's face it, we, we know they're just... He's just looking for us. <laughs> he's like, pretty sure she just finished an expert roulette. I, um, if I wait here long enough, she will show up again. <laughs> Collect more time stones. It's actually a pretty solid strategy. Yeah, this is our gear. This is the new raid gear. So that's a nice looking samurai sword. Bard weapon actually looks really nice. It's very classic bard look. I love it. it it's not over designed, yet it still looks like very bard and not archery. I don't really care for the axe. The daggers look like every other daggers to me. The cane looks fantastic. I want to see other other weapons. I want to see a dancer and uh, pallet and stuff. I love, I love it when they do this on female gear. They put these little uh, belts on your thigh. Mm, love that. Yes. Mm. <laughs> it's like, buckle me up. Sky steel tools Hi, are going to be upgradable crafter relics. They will glow eventually. There's the base look for them. And then we started talking about what I really care about, which was Bosja Citadel. So I did a lot of Eureka at the end of Stormblood and I felt like it wasn't completely terrible but I did feel like there were things that needed to be improved so Baja is something I'm very hyped on as they've said that it's not Eureka but it's inspired by a lot of those ideas it's instanced but it's solo unlike Eureka um you're gonna be able to upgrade your equipment in there you have to complete Return to Iblis first to to do it at all so make sure you get on that now you only have about a week. They're working on something for it that I don't think is going to be released on, on this patch, but they're working on something that they've been referring to internally as BA2 or Baldessian Arsenal 2. So I love Baldessian Arsenal. That was one of my favorite pieces of content in the entire game. It's like 56 man raids. And I, I love giant raids personally. Giant, giant PVE raids because it takes me back to my vanilla wow rating days so it seems like most of the stuff you have to do for bosja citadel is solo it's solo instanced but then at the very end there might be like this final capstone giant raid which oh i would love that some other miscellaneous stuff that i didn't mention yet um free companies are going to be able to rank up to 30 which is ridiculously high and the more you rank up the more space you get in your company chest starbucks barista outfit new bread eating emote that's very similar to the one vikebe uses kupo of fortune looks really cool uh so this is from ishgard restoration and here's the best reward right here you see like a little paisa with a chef's hat on which is adorable <laughs> like i i need this i think they have a, a one paisa for every crafting job because i also saw a weaver paisa so that's the best reward the worst reward confetti which we all know how much i love confetti <laughs> and uh, so if you click the one on the left, it is a safe bet. You won't get the best or the worst reward, but you'll get one of the middling rewards. But the ones on the right can contain anything. I think that I'm always going to click one of the ones on the right. I would rather go all or nothing. I don't, I'm not about the safe bet. I think that's boring. There's the, there's the Paisa. Weaver Paisa, so cute. And there's the emote. I'm not going to go over every single thing in this live. There are just the things that really stood out, like the Dalmel mount little sheep and a lamb mount there's a new jump puzzle place ranged dps craft gear which looks freaking incredible oh and i almost forgot umbrellas umbrellas so they said that they first talked about adding umbrellas to the game three years ago they just now have have the ability we have the technology to provide umbrellas it's like a special action that you get right here under extra like near GPOs and stuff. They said they had to make it a special kind of thing because it has map data in it that will tell the game to um, like protect you from the rain as the rain's falling. You can run around with it. As far as I know, you can't emote with it on, I don't think. You could probably do it expressions, but it would be great if you could... Oh, man. <gasps> what if they added a umbrella specific dance oh man can you imagine a bunch of lollipops doing the helena music video <laughs> i think i'm getting ahead of myself other things the red mage is getting buffed because it needs it needs potency buffs and summoner is getting 
nerfed a bit because it's just ridiculous right now. Samurai's meditation stacks will now be shown in the Jabba HUD and Warrior will have unspecified adjustments, which we don't know what that means. I'm assuming more fell cleaves. And there was the major announcement of where Final Fantasy Fan Festival is going to take place. For North America, it's San Diego, California. Um, November 6th and 7th at the San Diego Convention Center. If you're planning on going, you might want to get your accommodations set up for that now because I looked and around the convention center, it's ridiculously expensive. Uh, Japan, Nagoya, Japan, December 19th and 20th. That's pretty soon after the North American one, actually. And then for the European one, London. It's going to be at the Excel Center in London from February 20th to the 21st, 2021. Hopefully I will be able to go both to the one in London and in San Diego. That is my hope, but obviously that's going to be a little bit of a financial challenge for me. So I am going to just see how that goes, but I will have an easier time getting to the one in London. I guess I will see y'all there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. It was kind of a casual, just, just off the cuff type of chat living room chat about my initial reactions and hype for the uh the new patch ah! so we only have like a week left and i'm really excited okay i'm gonna stop rambling and go so i can edit this video and get it to you as fast as i can thank y'all so much for watching and i'll talk to you again soon bye